This coming Sunday is Easter Sunday. Our Lenten journey has ended, and once again we celebrate the Paschal Triduum of Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter. These liturgical celebrations are some of the most beautiful of the year. Our Gospel for Easter Sunday comes from John's account, chapter 20, verses 1 through 9. Let's take a listen. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed, for they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The passage may be very familiar to us. Mary Magdalene discovers that the tomb is empty and she runs to tell Peter and John. They also go to the tomb and find it as she described. Having just experienced the horrible, torturous death of their master and teacher, the one they had left everything to follow, they are likely still sad and grieving and confused and heartbroken at the event of Good Friday when Jesus died on the cross. They may also have been afraid of what would happen to them. Would the Roman authorities come looking for them? What they didn't expect was the news brought to them by Mary Magdalene. We can only wonder if they began to reflect on some of the things Jesus had said to them that pointed to the resurrection, to the new life he would bring them. During this past year, since our celebration of Easter 2021, there may have been some events in your personal life that have left you sad, discouraged, disheartened, confused, afraid. It may have been a loss you experienced, the death of a loved one, perhaps, the diminishment of your health, perhaps. On the world stage, we have been following the events occurring in Ukraine in these past few months, the terrible loss of life, the violent acts, the destruction of property, the displacement of millions of people who are now refugees. In the midst of our personal sadness, in the midst of a kind of group sadness, we realize that in the empty tomb, there is hope. There was that hope that Mary Magdalene and the disciples grasped on that Easter morning, and the hope then poured out by the resurrected Christ, whom we will see in the gospel passages throughout the Easter season. As we pray with this gospel for Easter, let us bring to the Lord all of the sadness of this past year and ask that he transform that sadness into joy, that he leads us out of darkness into the light of his resurrection. I hope this celebration of Easter will bring new life to your faith and help you continue to grow in love and trust of the risen Lord. Enjoy gathering with family and friends. For now, let the gospel fill your week. See you in church. Happy Easter. God bless.